President Kofuado has commissioned and handed over new ambulances with a call on regional ministers, MMDC's health directors, to provide the needed cooperation and support to National Ambulance Service. The program also coincided with the launch of the new emergency number 112, which replaces the existing one. The ambulances by far is the highest fleet to be purchased for emergency services. It is expected to enhance accessibility and pre-hospital care emergency services. Speaking to commission the ambulances, President Akufuado indicated his government's commitment to enhance quality emergency care in the country. One ambulance served approximately 524,000 people at the end of 20, December 2016. Today, we have a much improved ratio of one ambulance serving approximately 84,000 people. We promised in the 2016 MPP manifesto to strengthen the National Ambulance Service, and we're doing just that. He admitted the challenges confronting the service and assured government was working to deal with all bottlenecks. I'm aware of the other challenges confronting the service, such as inadequate staff, relatively non-existent dispatch system, the lack of a dedicated source of funding, and inadequate infrastructure. Government has already started working to address some of these challenges. The Ministry of Finance has provided financial clearance for the National Ambulance Service to recruit and train 1,477 emergency medical technicians. Thankfully, we have merged all the emergency numbers to one number, which is 112. Health Minister Kwekwajiman Menu mentioned some basic requirements have not been met and called on MPs, MMDCEs, to provide personnel with accommodation and the needed support. Some constituencies are a bit behind in terms of their preparedness in receiving these ambulances. As these ambulances are going to be deployed today, I'll entreat all my colleague MPs, regional ministers, and metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives to continue to collaborate with the National Ambulance Service, especially in places where the infrastructure is not ready to identify suitable places from where to operate until such times that the necessary facilities are made available. The Minister for Special Development Initiative, Mavis Hawakumsin, bemoaned the lack of maintenance culture, saying plans are in place to ensure proper care of the ambulances. As we said, we are developing a maintenance manual for the people, that's the paramedics, so that it can also guide them. Apart from that, to also creating services centers in their constituencies or around their constituencies, so that it will be easy for them to service their vehicles that are coming all the way to Accra. So these are the things we are doing. CEO of the National Ambulance Service, Professor Nuhu Zakaria, indicated the ambulances were going to complement their work. We would like to express our appreciation Sincerest gratitude to you and your government for these huge investments in the area of pre-hospital care services. And with the procurement of 307 new ambulances, the highest fleets ever to have been procured at a go in the history of emergency medical service system in Africa, definitely the face of EMS in Ghana is going to change forever. AEMT Ellis Ni Norte is one of the trainers of the paramedics and express their readiness. When we're doing the training, this, um, we have some of these equipment there that we take them through. So when even they go to the hospitals, we go there to monitor them. And in monitoring them, we know the kind of work they do there. That tells us that this person can do it. This person needs more training. Those who need more training, yes, we take them back, we train them more, and then we bring them back. So we know that really those who come out that's ready to work, they will do the work for us. There was a simulation exercise by the emergency medical technicians on their preparedness in emergency situations.
All right, so just so, so you know, the number to keep in mind is 112. And as you heard the minister talk about the maintenance manual that has been put in place to ensure that these ambulances are maintained. Bernard Bedu is a district director of health in Mansia West District. He joins me on the telephone for a conversation on this. Mr. Bedu, thank you for your time this evening. Now, let's understand this. Management of the ambulance, who does what at the local level, I mean at the district level? Thank you, Alfred, and good evening to your cherished listeners and viewers. Um, at the district level, the district health director is in charge of healthcare delivery within the district. However, there is the National Ambulance Service. They have a separate office with a director in charge and, and staff under him. And so when it comes to the ambulance, the management and maintenance of the ambulance directly falls under the officer in charge of the ambulance. And so it is rather a sort of a partnership between the Ghana Health Service, the ambulance, and then the digital assembly. Um, but when it comes to the daily, the daily or day-to-day -day administration and management and maintenance of the ambulance, it falls under the National Ambulance Service. Well, but then again, I mean, these ambulances are going to come to your district, for example. And so yes. the minister is saying that, for example, they're going to create servicing centers so you don't have to bring the ambulances to Accra or wait for someone from Accra to come service it when it's broken down. There's going to be a maintenance manual that will help you maintain these ambulances. You think this is going to help in, in cutting down on the bureaucratic process in all of this? Yes. Um so let's, for, for example, presently we have the National Ambulance Day here. Um, and there is a director in charge. And so with issues concerning maintenance and other related issues, it falls directly under him. And what is beyond him, he consults the assembly. The health directory is also there to support him. But the maintenance and management of it falls directly under the National Ambulance Service. Now, with this new ambulance that is coming, um, I'm sure there will be some modalities in place. True. Um, the, the MP will be involved, Honorable DC will be involved, the health director, and then the officer in charge of the ambulance will also be there. So there will be a collaboration and partnership amongst us. Because that is very important to us when it comes to um, emergency healthcare delivery. The ambulance is very, very key, especially when it comes to maternal health care. And so for us, it is good news and kudos to the government for the initiative and the action taken to bring the ambulance down here. Whatever it takes for us to collaborate as the health service, as the National Ambulance and the District Assembly, the Honorable DC and the Honorable MP, they are all right, willing I get to support point. to make okay. sure that we maintain this ambulance and it is always roadworthy. I see. But prior to this moment, how was the situation for you there in that district? Okay. So we have, fortunately for us, we were having the, the Toyota um, Land Cruiser type of the National Ambulance, which was here. And currently, as we speak, as a, as a region, we have about three of them that are uh, woodworthy and working. Okay. And so though the ambulance is here, at Amantia West, it serves other adjoining districts. Okay. And so sometimes um, you may have an emergency and, and you may have to call the control center and right. the ambulance will not be here. It might be seven other districts. Okay, okay. so um, there is the district office and then there is also the regional secretariat. Okay, that's that your point. They actually control the movement of the ambulance. ambulances. Right. Um, so it is being managed by the district office together okay. with the regional office. But the health director and then the DC, the Honorable DC, and we all come in to support. Okay. But it doesn't fall under the Direct district di of health services or the health directory. As it I is see. at the national level. You know, at the national level, the national I, 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 That's very, very well understood. I mean, you earlier mentioned that, so that's very clear. Yes. But I'm grateful for yeah. your time this evening. Thank you yes. so much. Bernard Bedu is the district director of health. Amongst your West District.